Hello, and welcome to the Lazy Brook Farm. Today, I got something a little bit different. Uh, I realized I hadn't quite explained why I chose to go the route I did when it came to filling my tires with the antifreeze. So I wanted to talk about what the options were and why I made the decision that I made. So you have calcium chloride, you have rim guard, and as some people call it, beet juice. You also have antifreeze and windshield washer fluid. Now, depending on where you are in the world, they all have their advantages. Uh, you, if you're in an area that doesn't freeze, you can even just use plain water. Water is around 8.6 pounds per gallon, uh, so it does add a, a fair amount of weight, but not as much as some of the others. And if it doesn't freeze, well, it's fine and it's free, so that's a good option for some people. You also have calcium chloride. And with calcium chloride, you do have a little bit of an issue because it does tend to rust things. So you do need to have some type of uh, tube in your tire to prevent it from rusting the, rusting the rim. It can take a couple years for it to rust, so there is that, but I've heard of people having problems with 10-year-old uh, uh, wheels that are filled with calcium chloride without a tube. If you already have a tube in your tire, eh, that's not too bad. Mix the calcium chloride with some water and pump it right in like I did the antifreeze. Now, there's beet juice. That's a pretty good option. Um, I had problems finding it in uh, smaller quantities. I could only find it in 55-gallon drums. So that made it a little bit hard for me to, for me to buy. Uh, and if I needed just a little bit more than 55-gallon drums, I'd, I'd hate to have to buy a second one and then hang on to it because I wouldn't be able to just get rid of it. I wasn't able to find anyone locally that could take care of it and I really like doing things myself so it wasn't it just wasn't quite a fabulous option but it did come in as one of the heavier ones at a uh, little over 10 pounds around 10.7 pounds per gallon so it was pretty decent. Now there's also windshield washer fluid which is good to about a minus 20 and depending upon your area that's pretty good that's pretty close to what we do get here sometimes on the coldest days so I was a little bit skittish about that it does sometimes get pretty cheap uh, I think you know somewhere between two and three dollars a gallon and it works pretty good and for the most part it's uh, ecologically friendly uh, depending on what you get so that's a pretty decent option as well um, and I believe that's um, around eight eight and a half pounds per gallon it's pretty much the same as water so water but a little bit extra freezing protection so some of the antifreezes are made with ethylene glycol which is poisonous to you know animals and humans but then you have stuff that's made with propylene glycol and the propylene glycol is actually pretty safe for humans and, and animals um, they actually even put it in ice cream to help it from hardening up so it's really not too bad uh, depending upon the mix that you get, sometimes they're good for negative 20 to negative 50. Um, if you get it concentrate and dilute down with water, you can mix it to whatever you need. So that's a pretty good option. Uh, what I ended up doing was going with the RV grade antifreeze. And this was meant for the water lines that are in your motorhome or in a house that you're trying to winter over that won't get heated during the winter. Uh, this is a, a this was a pretty good option because, like I said, uh, it's made with propylene glycol. So, if some spills and an animal gets into it, it's you know not going to be too bad for them. I mean, I wouldn't want them to drink a lot of it, but it, it's not too bad, unlike the uh, ethylene glycol. So I thought it was a pretty good option, and the one I found was good to negative 50. You know, just straight pour it right in. Um, I found a pretty good deal for about three dollars and fifty cents a gallon and it was nice and easy to get it. It was local at my tractor supply. I have tons. I ended up uh, cleaning out one store and I went to another store and they actually had enough. I could have bought everything I needed, you know, whole cases. They had plenty. And I really liked this option. Uh, while it was a little bit more expensive than the windshield washer fluid, it was good to the negative 50 and it was really easy for me to just buy more. You know, I ran out, I didn't plan quite enough when I put it in the tires and needed two more gallons and within 20 minutes I was down at the tractor supply and back with uh, a whole nother case just you know in case I needed a little bit more 
And if uh, for some reason I do leak some, I can easily get some more antifreeze. Never mind if I, you know, a uh, wheel happens to, to get punctured and I have to swap wheels or anything like that. It would just be really easy for me to take care of. So that's why I ended up going with that antifreeze. Now, you're, fr you're free to make your own decisions of what you want to go to. If you don't want to do it yourself and you've got a place local that will do the rim guard or beet juice for you, that's a pretty good option. I did price that out and I think it was around 300 to uh, $500 if I was able to get my tractor to some of these places to, to take care of, which isn't too bad a price. I think I spent a little around 150 for the uh, antifreeze and that was just a fabulous price. I borrowed my, uh, my father-in-law's sump pump and got the adapters and hose and that was you know another 20 bucks but those can always be used anywhere I need. So it worked out really well for me just to, to fill up my tires with that antifreeze. And I've definitely been rambling for a little while. It is such a fabulous day, I, I don't want to go in. The sun's starting to set and it's really nice just to sit here and relax. But I'd like to thank you for, for hanging out with me and letting me just ramble on for a few minutes and, and explain why I did what I did. I hope I've got a lot more videos coming for you, so please subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you, and have a great day.